The Raven. Welcome back to Learn to Shred with A Deception. Uh, today we're going to learn The Raven, which is eight and a half minutes fucking longy, but uh, should be not too difficult to play. So it starts off with this riff. <laughs> So that is a power chord on the 3rd fret of the E string. So that's our 1st finger on the 3rd of the E, our 3rd uh, and 4th finger, our 3rd finger on the 5th um, of the A, and our 4th finger on the 5th of the D. So we hit that, let it ring out. And then we do some chugs on it. Six chugs, and then we do, which is a power chord on the um, fourth of the A string. Don't use that pinky on that one though, just our top two. So yeah, same shape. Let that one ring out, and then you hit this. So that is. Uh, the fifth of the D string, and you kind of hit it with the flesh party thumb to make it squeal. So I hit that with my second finger, and then jump up a string to the fourth of the um, of the A string, and then use our second finger to tap on and off on the fifth of the A. So all together that sounds like this. Um, and then it goes back to that first power chord on the third of the E. Back to the power chord on the fourth of the A, but the little tail's different this time. So it's our, our second finger on the fifth of the um, of the D string, make it squeal. Uh, fourth, fifth on the A string, and then sixth and fifth on the D string. So I'll play through both of those together. is the verse. Uh, the song starts off on that as well. Um, and then uh, the next riff is this. So this is bass playing this part on the first time through. is um, a power chord on the 4th of the A, so um, yeah, it's the same, the chorus is the same chords, but uh, when the singing is, it's just palm muting. So yeah, it's a 4th and then 5th on the A, and then 6-5 on the D string. to the 4th uh, on the A, 5th, 6-5, and then 6-5 on the A, so these are power chords. So it's just those two patterns over and over again, so we'll play that a little slowly. which is the same chords, it's just uh, up and down strumming. Um, so yeah, 
the part of the lyrics is palm reading. And then the part where it screams nevermore is the... Um, and then, during the nevermore part, there's like a weird, screechy, disgusting, um, soloy thingy, which goes over a lead guitar. The crazy part that goes over the chorus uh, is this. <laughs> Is 16 on the uh, A string. And you like you bend it so it's not in tune. And then 17 on the D string. And then 18 on the D. And then 18 on the G. And then it's 18 on the G and 15 on the B. go between them and I kind of like uh, pull them apart while I'm doing that. So together that sounds like this. Together that sounds like this. So that's going over the... the song that part goes for ages and I just improvise it starts off the same the but then I just improvise the rest of it just a lot of like a bunch of that stuff um yeah it doesn't really matter just as long as it's kind of right but then also not right all at the same time that sounds good uh so that is the verse we've done and the chorus we've done uh and then there's the post-chorus part, which is this. Oh, sorry, which is this. So yeah, it's uh, fourth on the A, the power chord on the fourth of the A. Then fifth, and then fourth again. So yeah, four, five, then four, and then five on the D. Four, five on the A again. Four on the A, and then five on the D. And then six, five, four on the A. So we'll play together a bit slowly. Back into the verse, back into the chorus, back into that post chorus, and when that post chorus ends for the, the second time around, uh, it goes just hit the G on the where one would be. So that's a power chord on the third fret, sorry. And that fades out, and then there's piano. Uh, which I might record, I don't know. So then there's piano, um, which plays for ages, but inside that piano, there is a solo. The solo is pretty short and easy and nice. Uh, it starts off like this. It starts off like this. half of the solo. So we've got our first finger on the 17th fret of the D string. We hit it and let it ring. And then we hit it again and then uh, 19 and 21. And then 21 again. Up to 24. 24, 23, 21. Uh, a couple times. all in the D string, so I'll show you that one again. We'll play it together slowly. And then the second half is this. So 
So we start off the same place on the 17th of the D. And then 17, 19, 21. 21 again. And then 24. Up, down, up, down on 24. So 24 and then uh, fucking 21 on the G string. And then 23. And then back and forth between 23 and 24. And we end on 23. So both of the parts together sound like this. out and then um, then it plays the post chorus again which is the but over that is um, another bit of guitar which is so that is the uh, 14th fret of the B string up, down, up, down, and then 15 on the B. And then back to 14. And that's 15 on the E string. And then do it onto the, uh, the 15th of the, uh, of the B string again. And then on back to the 14th again. So that is uh, 15 on the B, on the E, sorry. 16, 15, 14 on the B. So it's the same as... Same notes, but just higher and uh, a little up and downs in there. That plays through twice. So it does that on the first time and second time around, another guitar comes in. Another guitar comes in doing the same pattern but just on a different place on the fretboard, which is the 21st fret of the B string. 21st up to 22nd. 21 again. And then 22nd of the B. And then back to 21 of the B. So that last part is uh, 22 on the E string. And then 23, 22, 21 on the B string. So it just harmonizes with it. And then that uh, goes back into the chorus. So that is the bridge, which is just piano. Oh, shit. The bridge is not just piano. Just chuck this in where it's supposed to be. So the bridge is um, plays piano, and then halfway through it does this. So there's just some rhythm guitar playing power chords on the third of the E string. stuff like that till the end of the song um or to the end of that part then it goes yeah to the post chorus with some more lead guitar over it and then it goes into the chorus and the last chorus has an extended that last never more part of the chorus is super extended it plays that and then it goes into the post chorus again um, and it plays it three times around instead of two, but on that third time it fades out. I think that's the song. 
Uh, uh, for a fucking long song, it doesn't have many parts, eh? That's The Raven. It's not too difficult. Um, the solo's really fucking easy. The riffs aren't too bad. I mean, there's some fiddly parts in some of the riffs. And, like, the chorus riff. Doing that one. But, it's not too hard to get. Uh, that's the... That's the song, I think. Fucking good on us. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one. Whatever the fuck that's gonna be. Yeah. Who the fuck knows. Keep on rocking on, and I will, uh, fucking see you later, bitch! Cast my sweet London!